I'm going to give you a biblical narrative to start off. There's a story in the, in the Bible, in the Torah, which is a story of Noah. And he's told, he has a voice that comes to him and says, there's going to be a great flood. And Noah believes this voice, there's going to be a great flood, he builds an ark. And the story is that as the water is falling down, and obviously the, the flood is starting, Noah is not moving. He's still on the ground. Why? Because he doesn't believe it's going to come true. So everyone wonders, what do you mean he doesn't believe it's going to come true? He sees the rain. It's actually starting to rain. There's a prediction it's going to rain. There's going to be a flood. He builds the ark. And yet when it starts raining, he says, I don't believe it's going to happen. Why not? Because Noah understands that every person has the possibility of creating whatever they want in their lives with the power of their thinking, the power of positive thought. Noah understands that we have to understand the same thing. We are the creators of our existence. When we have negative thoughts, if I say things are going to work out bad, things are not going to be good, we create the not good. Noah did not want to believe that the flood was going to happen. Why not? Because he understood, and we have to understand, that if we believe something is going to happen, it's going to happen. If we believe it's not going to happen, and if we have hope, and we, and we believe strongly that it won't happen, we have the potential to actually create it positive. So the power of positive thinking is the most important thing that we have to understand, especially anytime we're entering in a crisis. We make a choice every morning how we're going to live our lives. Before we turn on the radio, before we turn on the TV, before we look at the internet and the news, we make a choice. Is today going to be a good day for me? Or it's not going to be a good day for me? It's irrelevant to anything that happens outside of me. I'm going to make that first choice. When you wake up in the morning, before the internal dialogue goes on with all the worries and all the fear and everything, that all the bombardment and all this information, make a choice for yourself and say, today is going to be a very good day for me. Even verbalize it. Because when you verbalize a thought, you actually make it even more concrete. Say, today is going to be a good day, I have this thought, and say, today is actually going to be a very good day for me. It's going to be a joyous day, and it's going to be a happy day for me, and it's going to be a good day. Say it, and you'll see that it'll actually happen. Because we have the power, through our thoughts and through our actions, to create the energy that exists with around us. And if enough people would have this optimism, would believe the possibility that we can get out of this crisis, that we could be good, we will create a critical mass of people that will believe that we'll actually create this in terms of a global way. So instead of people subscribing to smallness and fear and anxiety, which is all about the ego anyways, your fear is always your fear of my existence, which is my ego, that my ego may be hurt. You can live from a place of love and a place of openness and integration and hope where everything is possible. And the more we believe it, the more it will become true in our own lives. And that's what we have to do. We have to always constantly think good, and then it will be good. Say it will be good, and then it will be good. And never to lower ourselves down to a place of fear. We're always constantly having this internal dialogue saying, things are not going to work out, things are not going to work out. Because if you really tell yourself it's not going to work out, it's actually not going to work out. And if you tell yourself it is going to work out, it will work out. But you really have to believe it. You really have to firmly believe that you can create your own life. In the Torah description, in the Bible description, it says, Nas Adam, let us create man. We are the creators, together with our creator, of our own existence. Constantly we have to recreate and create ourselves. We have the possibility every moment to recreate the life that we want for ourselves and for our children.